What is up everyone in a Ripple and XRP community? Good morning, happy Monday. It's the start of a new week. We are halfway through October as the countdown is ticking away, folks. In this video, we got some major things we're gonna go over. We're gonna talk about the CFTC commissioner, their plans to define retail investors. Why this is a good thing why this is going to help bring about regulatory clarity and guess whose office the head of the cftc was just in you got that right it was ripples how about bitcoin lovely bitcoin and max maxi boy kaiser is coming out there and talking some more crap on on xrp nothing changes with him right well guess what bitcoin failed to produce one block for over an hour what do you think that meant can we say backlog? Can we talk about transactions not going through? But Bitcoin is the chosen one now, isn't it? SEC, have they done poor research? Let's let's think about that for a second. We're going to dive into this. Has the SEC chosen to do poor research on Ripple and XRP to cryptocurrency? Or was there blatant manipulation, folks? That is the million dollar question. So, without further ado, what we're going to do is we're going to jump over to Live Coin Watch. I got about 12 tabs open at the top. We're going to get through them all in about 11 to 12 minutes. We're going to keep this video short and sweet. Bitcoin coming in at $19,408. It's currently up 1.17% in the past 24 hours. Ethereum coming in at $1,319. That is up 2.83% in the past 24 hours. We are seeing both USDT and USDC under their dollar peg and xrp is coming in at a mean lean 47 cents it's actually in the red 2.34 percent down on the 24. total cryptocurrency market cap has gone up just a tad bit coming in at 953 billion and the bitcoin dominance is once again stuck in its range it has gone up we were at 39.02 percent we are now at 39.04 percent folks what we are seeing and i have a tweet that i put out last night that covers this beautifully. New money is not entering the crypto markets at the moment. What we are seeing is we are seeing money shifted and moved around. We are seeing it go from one altcoin to another. Hence why some coins are pumping and why others aren't. Be careful out there because this is what happens. I've been here for five years, six years. <coughs> I don't know. I've been here a while. I've seen this time and time again. This is what happens. You'll see one, two, three. You'll maybe see a handful of coins that start pumping and start going up in value. Everyone gets excited. Everyone gets FOMO. They think that it's time for the crypto markets to run, especially those coins that those coins are going to be the leader. But what they are not noticing is that the total cryptocurrency market cap is staying the same, which is telling us that no new money has actually entered the market. Money is just leaving other cryptocurrencies or even stable coins and going into these coins. The value is rising up. These whales who are manipulating the market send will dump as you are buying the top. They will get better positions and you will be stuck holding your, your favorite little coin that you just purchased, hoping that it gets back to your buy and point. You have to be careful. The markets are very, very stale right now and very, very flat. Don't go chasing green candles. That is the uh, the key message here. Do not chase green candles. When you chase green candles is when you get burnt. What I tell people in these situations, if your token is going up, if you're not happy with your buy-in, if you still want to get involved, write down that token on a piece of paper or that cryptocurrency or jot it down somewhere, set a reminder in your phone, come back in about four weeks, even two months, check on it because you most likely are going to get a better buy-in. We are in no shape, no form at the time being in any type of bullish market. We are in a very flat stale market as everyone is on the sidelines pretty much waiting to see what happens as far as cryptocurrency regulations and this Rippleverse SEC lawsuit. Now we come over to the Lux Lines Discord. <coughs> so for 48 people have clicked on the little interested button tonight in the Discord and everything's linked below is the Lux Lines AMA. We just dropped a ton of new announcements this week. We will be covering everything. We will be bringing up community members, participants you name it if you got a question if you want to get something figured out we'll call you up on stage you can ask i'm going to talk about the project that my team behind me is going to be there as well to jump in to chime in to talk about it as well this is only the second ama that we have done and then i want to get you over to this because we did release the state coin if you were looking to get on a utility coin the state coin is out there the first phase of the ico is on going folks 
0.06 XRP per stake token. We will then release a phase two and a phase three where the prices will go up down the line. You want to get yourself some stake. And as we look at the NFT voting, it is currently under way we have 25 years already we need four more to kick off the two-week timer to get these nfts voted over to the xrp ledger i can't wait we still got ripple waiting to vote we have ripple has two validators that we're waiting on we got coils in there tell labs i think it's going to come this week keep your eyes on that now as we move over to this bitcoin and bats and max geyser he says well, he was replying to something about XRP, another XRP thread where he claims it's not decentralized. Of course, he goes, XRP centralized. There's an easy to take down and about to be outlawed. Not to mention it doesn't do anything useful like Bitcoin. Well, Maxi Boy, can you explain what happened here? An 85 minute block interval left. More than 13,000 transactions stuck in the pending state on Monday. Blocks are typically confirmed every 10 minutes. Here's the article talking about what's actually going on 13,000 think about that for a second 13,000 transactions were left pending no one knows what caused what caused the backup or the delay but that is the bitcoin blockchain for you folks you never see this happening where on the xrp ledger and then our networks wants us to know that they did remove their veto which is a great thing remember when we're looking at the voting system the nays doesn't mean that people vote in nay. The default voting mechanism technique answer is set to nay. They need to vote to change it to move them on over. Hopefully it gets done because we are all ready. Trust me, I am ready <coughs> to get these NFTs on the XRP ledger. Damn yeah, man, Michael Branch put this out. And this is big. You want to make sure that you can provide expanded access to retail investors, but in a way that's safe and affordable for them, which might look very different than how institutions or how a high network individual might purchase. This is coming from who? Well, the CFTC. That's who it is coming from, folks. Here's the article. CFTC Commission is planned to define retail investors. This is what we need. We need the CFTC to, check, to step in because the SEC is not doing anything. Who is the, is the CFTC? Well, the Community Futures Trading Commission is an independent agency of the U.S. government created in 1974 that regulates the U.S. derivatives market, which includes future swaps and certain kind of options. Why is that interesting? Well, who remembers this? September 19th, about a month ago. Caroline Pham, and right here you'll see who she is. She's a CFTC commissioner, was over in San Francisco visiting Ripple's office, hanging out with Brad. I wonder what they were talking about. What do you think? What do you think they were talking about? You think she gets it? Think she's taking her time to do her research? Because we know the SEC did it, which is going to lead us into the point now, folks. Did the SEC really just have poor research or was there blatant manipulation? Well, Cryptoary got off the route to Kahneman and they talked about this. Let's give this a listen. Was the SEC intentionally trying to pull the wool over the eyes of the judge and say that this didn't have use case and it didn't have utility or were they really that bad in doing their research? where some people think that the SEC knew XRP had utility, but they were going to try to make yeah. the story that it didn't. I think their research was poor. I can't imagine they thought they could, how in the world did they think they could get by with trying to put that story out there and that it wouldn't be shot full of holes? So did they seek to intentionally mislead that is, in a sense, that's really a terrifying thought. Um, it may also be possible that they, they have a certain amount of overconfidence given their standing before the courts in general and don't worry about exaggeration to make their point. Hmm. Um, I don't know if that's the case. Uh, it seems specious to me in a matter of law such as this that they would be cavalier like that um and so i think it does warrant 
these questions about are they intentionally looking to deceive? I mean, certainly, you know, in any law case, you are looking to uh, present a viewpoint because it's it is hard to imagine how you could say with a straight face if you've done any research that there is no use here. Right. I, that's so blatant that it does makes you wonder. <laughs> I don't think they did poor research. We know that the SEC ran a validator. Stuart Alderati told us this. What I think is pretty obvious is that Jay Clayton and Bill Hinman had an objective. They, they knew what they were doing. They were working for companies that were heavily involved in Bitcoin and Ethereum. They saw XRP as a threat. They were looking to increase the amount of money that they were holding. I think that is pretty obvious. I think John Deaton has done enough research and has showed us this as well. So I don't think it's poor research. I think what we call this is manipulation, folks. That's what I think it's. I, we call this. But the stage is being set. CFTC is getting involved. Ripple is expanding. The SEC versus Ripple lawsuit is going to come to an end at some point, whether it be this year or Q1 of next year. All the evidence is being lined up. The judge is sick of the SEC's nonsense. Those Bill Hinman emails are going to be released at some point. The stage is set, folks. The U.S. can only slow down Ripple so much. They can only delay the what's going to happen with the new financial system and with XRP and ODL being the back end. The rest of the world is already on board. So call it manipulation, call it a slowdown tactic because the US isn't ready. Call it what you want. But the stage is set for Ripple and for XRP and on-demand liquidity to be the backbone of the new financial system the new digital financial system that is coming i'm gonna leave it right there listen wash them hands be nice be kind to of each other ripple van winkle is out